Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. I'm Brim, he's Grum, and this is episode 35. Now what are we going to do today? Well, I thought we would start by taking a look at the island that the foundry is setting on. Um, setting? Setting. Sitting on. And you will notice that we finally managed to get um, silver woods. Oh, that one's got, that one's fading. Silver woods with um, nodes in every one of the trees that are out here. And what that has effectively done is turn the entire island into magical force. Now, I had a reason for doing that. That wasn't just a, uh, hey, let's try an experiment sort of thing. Actually... What about this? Is this still magical forest? Nope. So we have one little line of roofed forest still here. Oh, uh, actually, it's not even the whole line. Like one or two blocks. Uh, those may get trimmed off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could happen. Anyway, this has all been converted. Um, so that is yay. That little thing is done. Uh, as far as as far as the rest of our world, you will notice that I'm not getting the frame drops out here anymore. Um, I, I actually spent about three hours yesterday, last night, trying to fix the issue with the achievement book down here and the fact that these were had big black boxes over them instead of the verbiage um the glitch whatever it is is still here you'll see they've got a white border around this book um if we go look at our other books down here down here we still have the same issue with those as well it's actually a little more pronounced with some of these uh, because you get a big border around the book itself um i wasn't able to fix it and i've done all kinds of things i've ripped the mod pack out and reinstalled it uh i got optifying back up and working correctly i no longer get the glitchy flickering effects with Optifine reinstalled. Um, I changed some settings in Optifine. I've done everything I can think of. And what I ended up doing, I, like I said, I didn't fix it, but there is a configuration file for this mod and I changed the text that's on the um, achievements themselves. Instead of being on the left-hand side, I centered all the text. And simply centering the text made the black text box go away. I, I don't know why. Um, I have no explanation for it, except that it fixed it, or at least it, it was a workaround sort of thing so that it was no longer, it's no longer giving us an issue. So, now, what are we actually going to do today? So, and I think that's it. Um, we were working on that little project last time. I, we've still got material over there, and let me show you what, what we finally did. We've got a, whoa, we've got a brown-white-brown brown chest that is simply dumping out any soul sand and any um, wither heads that we get in the, wither skeleton heads that we get in the system, and dumps them up into these two uh, DSUs. So we've got material out here all the time. Obviously we've got a lot more um, soul sand than we've got wither skulls and that's because we get one wither skull for nine wither, uh, wither essences but we get eight soul sand for eight um, nether essences. So there's a you know there's a significant difference in the output and we've got the same size crop plots over here. Uh, maybe these crop plots changed? We've got an extra layer and I probably did that after the episode yesterday. Um, and I think this is this is now all Enderman crop. And I think I moved. Uh, this plot used to be Eulorium over there in the corner, and then Nether and Wither essence here, and then the Enderman essence over here. And this is now all Enderman essence, except I think there's still some Eulorium in there, uh, along with the cactus sprinkled in. And the Wither and Nether essences got full plots of their own. Yep, yep, yep. So that may be different from last episode. Mm -hmm. Could be. Um. I think that's it. I think that's all that's really changed. I don't know of anything else that we've done particularly. We've not yet automated the whisper room over here yet, but I'd like to get to that eventually, but not today. Now, what do we want to do today? Well, there are a couple things that we need to get worked out, uh, just because they're going to take a long time. Oh, I do still have flickering. I thought I had all the Optifine flickering worked out, but as I move towards that, um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, as I move towards this um, Tesseract, I can see a little bit of a flicker in the Tesseract, but it's still way better than it was before. Now, there are a couple things we need to get worked out just because of the amount of time that they're going to take um, in actual game time. So if we go over here and look, one of our... Oh, oh, check. Does that finish that? That finishes the entire um, Age of Exploration chunk. Nice. Um, create a max size reactor. Yep, still on the list. Energy, energy. Um, capture. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. So, you know, we built that world that's got all of the... Um, it's nothing but magical forest. Mm -hmm. Blam. Look at there. Look at there. It's a pack. Go back here. Mm. So I still vowed him just to bring him back over here so that we could do the trading at some point. Uh, so we've, we've captured one. We haven't done any trading yet. Uh, still haven't done this. That is... I'm still not sure how to open to get to the outer realm, whatever it is. So I'm not sure how to get to that yet. Um, yeah, yeah, we still need to do that. But if we take a look over here at the end of this stuff, there is a... Uh, there is a, an achievement to fill a DSU with anything. And to... Where is it? Um, turn, no, 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 no. Where's the one about fill one chunk completely with triple compressed cobblestone? Um, obviously we will also fill the DSU unit with cobblestone. That is 
a lot of cobblestone. Uh, that's 2.1 billion cobblestone just for the DSU, I think. And then I haven't even done the math. Uh, let's see, it'd be uh, 16 by 16 is 256 by 256. So I think that's uh, 4096 if I'm if the math is right in my head. And then you have to double that to get to. Is that right? You double that to get to. No, it's going to be bigger than that. I, I think it's 60,000. Anyway, it is a ton. The long and short is because we have to double it to get to compress and then double it again to, to get to double compress and then double it one more time to get to triple compress. So it is a lot of cobblestone is the long and short. So what I'd like to do today is get, we've got that little bitty um, cobblestone generator that we have had from the beginning sitting right down here. This is, believe it or not, a tiny cobblestone generator. Even though it has produced quite a bit of cobblestone um, and compressed cobblestone for us, it's still tiny by comparison to what we actually need. And I think the first thing we want to do today is get to that big cobblestone generator knocked out so that we can achieve some of those things. And then I would also like to get our, um, we need to do a little bit of Thumbcraft stuff. I would like to get, where is the Thumbcon? Thumbnomonomonomon. I would like to get, where are the one cores? The Silverwood one core and, and, where the one core cap? Oh, the caps are probably in the same place. Along with um, Thomium one caps. Now, I know that there are void metal one caps somewhere. I, actually, we've already unlocked them. But we don't know how to get, you know how to get void metal yet. Mm, we do, we do not. So we'll probably do exactly that. Uh, we'll probably do um, silver wood with thomium caps because we can pull that off pretty easily. We do finally have some salus. No, I'm sorry, not salus. I'm just, we got uh, balance shards done. Balance shards. We got 21 of them in the system, and I did that manually over here. I think we talked about that. Um, just gathering up the vials of the various uh, five of the aspects, dropping them in, and then dropping in the shard for the sixth. So that is well, that prep work is done. We are ready to do that. So. Let's go ahead and get the big cobblestone generator knocked out, and then we'll come back to that. How's that? So let me grab some pieces we're going to need, and I'm sure we're going to have to craft some things. So uh, we're going to want a bunch of glass, just because that'll make it easy to see and deal with. And then we're going to need um, some cobblestone to get us started. Um, you know, I haven't actually done the math on how much. Let me let me see. Uh, um, no, no, no. We're just going to move forward. So we need... Transfer nodes, transfer nodes, transfer, transfer nodes. Um, that'll get us started. It's not enough, and that should say something. Uh, you know what? Um, transfer. We actually have, no, what was it that actually showed the book? Don't we actually have to read this book in order to be able to get to the Outer Lands? I wonder if the key is in here. We're going to look. Just as, We won't do anything with it, but we're going to look just as soon as we finish this. And then world interaction upgrades. I think we need three stacks of world interaction upgrades and speed upgrades. We need two speed upgrades, two stacks of speed upgrades. And, and yes, I did say stacks. And we also need um, stack upgrades. Stack upgrade. Now, we don't need a full stack of stack upgrades. We just need one stack upgrade. Do I not have... I still don't have my tea working. That's obvious. Stack upgrade. I don't have a recipe for this yet. But I probably have the pieces in the system. So that I can create a recipe for it real quick. Um, yes. I'll go ahead and get that encoded. And we can just throw it um, right up there. Sure. Why not? And we'll get um, stack upgrade. Uh, and we are going to need 32 of those. And we've got everything there, so we'll kick that off. Now, additionally, we need a couple of buckets, because we need a bucket of lava and a bucket of water, which we can get when we're on site at the construction down here. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, that's it. It just says the research is done. It didn't do anything. Uh, I wonder if it changed anything in our Thaumonomicon. We will check later. Let's grab some food, because we are hungry. Hungry, hungry. Um, where's our food? There's food. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of those, just grab something. Alright, so, nom, nom, nom. let's go down here. I think we're going to want to do, we could tear that one out, I suppose. You know what, we got this big platform down here that we're not using for anything now. So let's do it right here. How's that? Um, the problem here is going to be that we're going to need some bricks, because we're going to need to replace that wood. Because that wood would be a bad thing. That wood would be a bad thing. And yeah, I could have gotten a uh, hatchet out and chopped that out, and the chopping would have been faster. But honestly, the time it would have taken me to get in my pack and get it out, I probably could have done it with that. All right, now, so in the middle, we're going to need um, some cobblestone, and then we need a ring of glass around that. Uh, I probably should have used like the really, really clear glass or whatever. Quite clear glass. Uh, that'll work. So um, let's see. We do. What we're going to end up with is 32 transfer nodes, but we'll put a transfer node on each side of this, so we really need 16. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, crud. Did I count the bottom one or not? <sighs> you would think that, uh, well, hang on. We had um, we had a full stack, right? So we only got 49, so no. There we go. Ha ha! Uh, math for the win, math for the win. Um, Where is my builder's one? 
right there it is, and we'll throw him back in. And we'll just, yeah, I, don't, I didn't think I was going to be able to reach the other side over there. We will get this side up, and then we'll go do the other side as well. Now, um, did I just misclick? Oh my goodness, I misclicked and put in a whole bunch of glass in the center. All right, let me build up both these sides, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, that little chore is done. Um, now what we need, did I get that level off correctly? I did, it looks like. Now what we need is um, lava in one of these and water in the other. Now, ordinarily, these flowing straight... It looked like it didn't reform. Uh, ordinarily, these flowing straight down like this, I don't think would actually make cobblestone in the center, but it works for this. So we're going to pour water down this side, and we're going to pour lava down this side, and as far as the world interaction upgrade is going to be concerned, there is a block of cobblestone here, and there's lava on one side, and there is indeed water on the other side, so it's going to allow it to make cobble. So, we're going to put those up there. We're going to run these just like this all the way up. And I'm going to um, verify that that is working the way we want by going ahead and we, we've got one extra transfer node, so we obviously need more transfer nodes. And I didn't bring a DSU. Um, and I think I've got that on autocraft, so I think I can get it from here. Sure enough. Come on, come on, there you go. Can we plop that straight? It's, we can plop it straight on top, but it's not going to connect, is it? Okay, so give us just a little bit of transfer pipe. Uh, we always want to avoid pipe whenever we can. Uh, every additional piece, has to, every additional connection has to be checked by the entire stack here. So every connection, ooh, suddenly something consumes me. Uh, a sudden and unnatural hunger consumes me. And that one's bad because that one is going to affect my uh, food. It'll be dropping dramatically. So if we take a look... Uh, we'll go ahead and put, um, let's just do, let's do half and half of these right now. So we'll put, um, I didn't, even, what happened to that stack upgrade? I thought I brought one. Hmm, I don't see it. So if we take a look at this, we will see that they are indeed both, even though they're both pulling from the same block that's underneath them, they're both creating cobblestone. Dun, dun, dun. So what this, um, in my testing, the most efficient um, method for getting the cobblestone out of here was one um, stack upgrade, one stack upgrade, three stacks of world interaction, bang, 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 and then two stacks of speed upgrades. So we're going, uh, is our, our stack upgrades done at this point? Stack upgrades. Our stack upgrades are done. So let's go ahead and put stack upgrades in both of these and we'll see that that drops pretty dramatically. Let's move that over because I want these laid out. Bang, bang, bang. Now instead of producing 26 per tick that it's trying, it's producing a full stack, which is handy, handy. And we'll do the same thing over here. You'll see that's fluctuating back and forth, back and forth while it builds. Nope, cut that out. Go ahead and make, well, are you going to make a liar out of me? For reals? Stack upgrade. Hmm. The other one got full, didn't it? Yeah, it got full. Oh, probably because it's having to do more searching. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so, yeah, there we go. So what we need to do now... What we need to do now is get a whole bunch more upgrades made and a whole bunch more transfer notes. So, uh, let's see, can I do the math on this? There, there will be 32 of them. Yeah, I'll do some math and actually try to kick off the right number of upgrades. We won't be able to put them all in our inventory. So, let me get the rest of that ready to roll, and then we'll come right back. Yeah, so, that's a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Available, 493. Needed, 7507. Yep, so we've run into a problem. We've run into a resource problem in both... Uh, Redstone and Lapis, and as you can... Oh, did that not have anything in? I guess it's popping in and out so fast, yeah. Um, as you can see, we got our upgrades in for most of this side. I think we have to get all the way down to the bottom before we run out of... Oh, I got this whole side done. Okay, and then on the other side, uh, <laughs> we've only got about half of what we needed as far as world interaction upgrades go, and it just is going to get worse as we go down. So, um, and then we eventually ran out of... We ran out of... Yeah, we ran out of redstone too. So we couldn't build enough speed upgrades, and we absolutely could not build enough world interaction upgrades. But I can fix most of that simply by going and moving the uh, quarry that's set up in the deep dark, and we should be able to get a bunch of that. Now, if we take a look at this, you will see that it is just running like a screaming dog. I think that's uh, two million. So that would be millions, and then here are the thousand. Yep, so that's uh, two million cobblestone produced already. I think we need I think we need just over half a million to do the requirement for filling a, a chunk with uh, triple compressed cobble. So, ooh, wow, what's going on there all of a sudden? Uh, I think I'm fixing to crash. Let me, um, let me stop this and figure out what's going on. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so just about the time I stopped the video, it stopped. So, it wasn't the video software because it didn't uh, immediately restart. So, it may have just been trying to deal with all those entities over there that are falling. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so we are, we are resource de deficient here is the long and short of that. So, um, the other things we wanted to do, we wanted to get our, uh, I don't know that I actually have any Thomium in the system right now. Do I have any Thomium in here? Thom... I don't have any actual thomium. Uh, did I leave some over here in our hungry chest? We just need two pieces. 
So it's not like we need, ah, we do have, dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I toss it in the enemy system, probably because I've been using it over here. So one, two, and then this will get us uncharged thomium caps, right? Or whatever it is. Make sure I can't actually make more than one or make a, an extra one. So there's the thomium caps. And then let's grab our thomonomonomicon and take a look at the, um, what is this? Oh, so we read the Crimson Cult book earlier. Much of this writing is spidery, unintelligent script, blah, blah, blah. Interesting, you think Thaumaturge might be a missing piece. As long as obviously only a madman would pursue this line of study. Well, that's us, so. But I don't see anything else that's lit up, so we'll leave that for now. Uh, what we're coming in here for, though, is to look at wands and stuff, right? So let's see, the Silverwood Wand Core. All right, so this is a moderate stability, instability, and we're going to need, is this all the shards? There's an order balance. Yeah, it looks like it's all the shards, plus a block of Silverwood, and then to do the caps... We are going to need to do, we're going to need three Salus Mundus. So let me get this stuff together. Let me get all our shards together. Let me get some Salus Mundus made real quick. We should have that, no problem. And we'll come back and see if we can get our next upgraded wand. Now, the reason I won't really want the next upgrade wand is the two wands that we have right now, we do not have the ability to store enough um, uh, viz in them to actually do the node in a jar. So we can't move nodes around right now. We won't be able to until we get that wand. So let me get the stuff together and we'll be right back. So three Salus Mundus, and isn't that what it's called? Salus Mundus, yeah. And then one each, one each of the... Primal shards plus a balance shard, and we should have the things we need to get this done. Now, we're going to need a wand. And I need to check and make sure there's... I don't think there's any way in the world we don't have the aspects that we need over here. But let's just verify, because the last thing we want to do is blow this room up. So we need... Uh, that's all... So we need the primals, one, two, three, four, five, six, plus some um, uh, precatado. And yeah, we've got um, like three rows <laughs> deep for each of the primals. Now, the magic... Where did I do what I do with the magic? It's down here. we got 29. What does it call for? It calls for a single digit. It looks like maybe nine on that one. And then if we take a look at the thomium, <clears throat> this requires, that's all primals. So we should, oh, no, sorry. Got to go to the next page. Uh, Aurum, hmm, because we're going to have to do this twice. Oh, we're going to have to do this twice. We have to add more Salus Mundus. Um, and Potentia, so four, do we have eight? What did I do with the Aurum? Oh, I want this in the ME system so badly. Aurum, okay, so we've got a jar and a half. No, we got two full jars of Aurum. And what was the other one? Oh, Mr. Goldfish Brain. Uh, potentia, 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 Potentia. Squid Fist. Squid Fist, that's what, yeah, we've got plenty of that. So we should have plenty of all of our aspects. I do need to grab three more Salus Mundus real quick, because, you know, um, well, Goldfish Brain, right? I wonder what's got a shorter memory than a Goldfish. Uh, balance Shards. Do I still have at least three? I do still have at least three. So let's grab those. Throw those over here. And by the time we can get back, the Salus Mundus will be waiting on us. Pull those out. All right, so uh, if we take a look, now I think... I think this very specifically has to be laid out. So um, it's going to be hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's no way to balance a seven. Nope, there just isn't. And we have a total of what? One, two, three, four, five, uh, two, four, six, eight. We have ten pedestals. Um, so if we laid this out, uh, wrong one. If we raise, laid this one out so that we've got here, and then bang, bang. Uh, I, I think we're just going to have to like, cross our fingers and hope. So we need to go balance to air. So balance... And then air. Uh, we can try to rebalance them after we get them all down. And then what's next? Um, we're going to go from fire to water. So let's grab fire and water. Fire. And water. And then take a look again at the book. Uh, earth, uh, order, and then entropy. So earth, actually, it's, I had them in the right order. It must be, because I took them out in alphabetical order, so that must be the order that uh, they did it in. There and there. Now, obviously, this is about as unbalanced as possible because all of them are on one side. So let's see if we can balance this up a little better. If we come over here, maybe, and then grab the order one and skip one here, and then bring the earth, uh, Terra, over to here, um, and then here, and maybe, come here, here. Uh, that looks completely unbalanced, too. You know what? We're going to go for it. What's the worst that happens? <clears throat> We end up with a big old mess that we have to clean up. Bang, go. Come on. Come on. Do your thing. Do your thing. Now, I hope it can reach all of those. Here comes the uh, air and fire. I guess we need to be keeping an eye for anything popping off, because if anything's going to pop off, it, probably this one is unbalanced as it is. Uh, I don't see anything. It's getting its, uh, definitely getting its stuff right now. Its essence is, 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 is. Essentia, rather. All right, and then it should go grab the magic one. Come on. Where's that? Why is it not pulling? Uh, can it not reach the Precantado? There, get it now. Come on. 
Come on, take it. There we go. Good. Uh, amazingly enough, though, even though we couldn't get that, we don't have any... I don't see anything having fallen off pedestals. I don't see any flux goo stuff. Uh-oh. What did we have over here? Or is it already pulling them? Oh, it looks like it's already pulling them. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Finish up, finish up, finish up. Oh. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom, that's it. It's done. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. All right, so, um, let's see. Bang. And let's grab... Get out of there. Let's do, um, so maybe this actually shows it not being balanced. So let's do there, there, and over on one of these pedestals, maybe like that. And then start this one. I don't remember what we needed, but I remember saying we had it. So, yeah, we're just going to go for it. Uh, here comes the potential in right now, and it looks like we need to arm, and I know we had plenty of both of those. Uh, I did not make any extra Salus Mundus, so let's hope, I mean, if one gets blown off a pedestal, we can just grab it and put it back up there. But if it actually gets blown up or whatever, we'll be in a bit of trouble. So that looks like that one finished. Let's go ahead and make the last one. Bang. Throw it in there and grab our Salus Mundus, and we'll just, since that worked the first time, we'll just try it again. I believe we went to the quarter pedestals for those. You know what? I've got the flight speed turned up pretty high on this Draconic Armor, and that is a bit of a problem when you're trying to be, uh, when you're trying to move in delicate ways, because you just, you slide so far. Let me slide halfway across the room here. All right, it looks like we got those, looks like we got those. Excellent. This is going to make it much easier to move things, progress things along. Cool beans. All right, now we can throw those over here, I believe, and we'll probably need some uh, viz from... Oh, yeah, we need a bunch. Ooh, wait a minute. We can't get that much. That's 59. Are we going to have to build an intermediate wand just to get here? Are you kidding me? That gets us down to 54. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's change armor. Let's change armor. Oh, I bet we're going to come up like one short of being able to have enough. That is, that is annoying. That's not even funny. Ah. <sighs> Let's see if that's enough. Oh, we move so slow now. Oh, we don't have flight. Do we not still have the ring of flight on? We still have the ring of flight on. Why don't we have flight? Oh, we do now. I take it off, put it back on. That's strange. Uh, drum roll, please. Uh, 48. Yes, 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 yes. Domium bossed silverwood wand capacity 100. Dun, 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 dun. That is awesome. So, uh, let me get him charged up. And we got a couple other things we're going to do. And uh, yeah, be back in just a second. Okay, guys, we are back now. What I have actually done while we were gone is I have pulled the books off the the pickaxe of the wyvern, and I had to go do the resurrection ritual one more time, so we've got a new egg as well, and I needed some more awakened draconian. So if we take a look at the book, what is left here is the draconic pickaxe, axe, shovel, hoe, and staff of power. Um, so I think I actually have the pieces now to get all of this done, so we're going to look at these real quick. Draconic. All right, so we can... I pulled all the books off here, so we can start with the pickaxe, and we should just be able to shift-click these in at this point, because bang, there's the pickaxe, and we need the shovel, which is here, uh, I think I made the pieces for that. Oh, what goes in the middle? Uh, probably a regular shovel, right? Yep, sure enough. So throw that in there and then grab this bad boy. And then we're just going to turn right around and build this one. So there's the shovel. Uh, where's the axe? That's pickaxe and uh, shovel. We need the axe, which is going to require a diamond. Now, this one doesn't have a, uh, a wyvern version, so we go straight to Draconic for this one. There's that one. And I believe it wanted us to make the hoe as well. And again, there's no wyvern version for this one. We go straight to the draconic. The hoe, yes. We've got that one. One, two, three, four. Now we should be able to go to the staff of power. Please let me have enough pieces. And it's pickaxe. Oops, it's pickaxe and shovel and axe. Is that correct? Axe and shovel? Uh, pickaxe, shovel. Oh, sword. Duh. I'm sorry. Sword. Uh, where's the sword? Sword. Uh, do I have books on the sword? I bet I've got books on the sword. Let's pull them off. Yes, we have books on the sword. Get all these books off of here, and then we will have the Draconic Staff of Power. Which is, um... Uh, serious. <gasps> oh. Shovel? Shovel. Dun, 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 dun. Now, uh, for starters, this thing allows us to get a bunch of... And we, we've got the axe left over. But that is the pickaxe, the axe, the shovel, the hoe, and the Staff of Power knocked out. Oh, yeah, baby. And this thing is just about charged up. So let's go ahead and put some books on him. Uh, we want the Silk Touch on there. We want the Soulbound on... Hang on. We want the Soulbound on there first. Uh, and, and I'm kind of strange about the order that I want stuff on. So here's this. Uh, let's see. We do want Reaper on there because it still acts like a sword too. Sharpness. Ooh, probably don't need... Ooh, looting. So I'm going to have to... Uh, do I want Fortune or Silk Touch on there? Because hmm. I won't have enough room for all of them. Soulbound. Efficiency. We can probably pull Efficiency off. Efficiency isn't really going to matter. Which will mean I can put Looting on and then Fortune on and then Silk Touch on. Now what did I miss? Efficiency is not going to matter. Sharpness probably isn't going to matter. We had an extra soul bound. So yeah, I think that works. Let's just toss these in here for now. And we have the hoe and the axe left over. We'll toss those in here for now as well. 
because really with this um, thing it doesn't matter efficiency is just not going to matter at all let's um so the other thing i said we need to do in order to be able to finish that up out there is to get more resources and those resources are going to come from the quarry and we need to move the quarry uh and the reason i want to build this is because we need to move the quarry we have a we have a quest an achievement to do a where is it uh, 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 successfully run a 1k by 1k ender quarry so we're probably going to do it as a speed cut but i'm going to jump over there and tunnel out we'll play with the uh, pickaxe just a little bit because well it's just awesome let's look at the so for starters um we can void junk yep that's on uh we can change this to seven by seven uh dig depth you know interesting uh, it's been nerfed here a little bit because it used to be nine by nine by nine it's seven by seven by seven now so that's actually kind of interesting size uh i'm not sure what that particular size was for Dig depth, attack AOE. Oh, so that's got to be the dig. AOE safe is off. Dig speed is, well, as fast as it'll go, please. All right, now let's jump over to our quarry. Quarry, 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 quarry. Where is the quarry? There it is. All right, so uh, we probably need to actually turn this down for just a second because we need to grab some things. Like, we need to grab one of those, and we need to grab one of these. Uh, and do we have cobblestone anywhere? I don't think we've got any cobblestone anywhere. Uh, it won't matter, though. And then what we can do is we can come in here to this thing's inventory and say, hey, we want to mark these as junk. Do not pick up either of these. All right, so uh, it looks like we've mined that direction, we've mined that direction, we've mined this direction. Let's go grab our ender um, markers. And come on now, good Lord, I, I did win it. And bang, thank you. And then we need the other two, and then we'll probably just go down, probably just go down that way and set her back up. Yeah, because we haven't gone too far this way yet. So let's get this all the way back up to a sudden Blam! Oh, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that! All right, so I'm going to... Um, I think we'll do this as a... Sp I think we'll do this as a speed cut. Let's get this back down to one by one so I can get the pieces here. Hey, swing, 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 swing. And there's a reason we don't need the efficiency. Because, check it. I already don't have any problem <laughs> knocking stuff out. Efficiency is kind of a no-brainer. All right, so I'm looking at our XYs over there. It looks like uh, X is going up. And we're at... No, it's going down. All right, so if we pick a spot right here, and let's just drop down our ender quarry right here, it is sitting at X113. So if we go to negative um, 900, that'll be over 1,000 in this direction. So I'm going to jump on that real quick, and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, we are back, and I think we've done it. I think we do it. I see purpley, uh, purpley sparkles going that way, and purpley sparkles going that way. And I set up, so we are currently standing at, <clears throat> this thing is at um, 112, 221 by 251, and I believe it's getting smaller that way. Yes, it's getting smaller that way. So we need to go to about negative 900, and if we go down here and look at quarry 2, I believe we'll find we are standing at negative two, uh, 912, so that is more than 1,000 in this way. <clears throat> if we go back to our quarry and look at him this way, he is at he's at positive 220, so we need to be at negative 800 or further out. And I believe we'll find this one to be at like negative 839, so it's well beyond 1,002. So I think, and I think we can actually sustain, I think these days we can actually sustain the power um, full time. I think so. Oh, it's working. It's working. 447 blocks. Now... I have no idea where it's working. <laughs> it's working somewhere in that, let's see, a thousand times a thousand is a, uh, is that a million blocks? One thousand times one thousand would be a million blocks on the horizontal plane, and we're up 250 blocks in the air. Uh, 252. So that would be our feet, so 253 would be our, our head. So over a quarter of a billion blocks that it needs to work on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right, over a quarter of a billion of blocks. So it's going to run for a while. That's all there is to it. I have no idea where we could go to find it, but it's running, it's running, it's running. We are successfully operating. I think that's all it called for. Let's go back and look. Let's go back and look. <clears throat> it, it, oh, oh, let me have control. Thank you. Where is this thing? Successfully run a 1K, a 1K by 1K ender quarry in the deep dark. We are running it right now. Now, I don't know if that means finish or if it just means do it. We are doing it right now. It is not finished. I don't know how long it would take to finish. Let's go check out our power requirements. Make sure that we're producing enough power. Uh, yep, in out is basically zero, so we're good there. Uh, I think we, we determined that we could push this to about just shy of 70,000, or was it just shy of 80,000? I don't remember. But obviously we're producing enough power to run that thing full time, and that's pretty cool. That should allow us to... Now, in the time we've been working on this, let's run out here and see how this thing is doing. Nope. Uh, wow. Let's see, so one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're up to 13 million. 
already. Obviously, even at this speed, this thing is going to take a while to get full. Mm -hmm. And we got to pull a half a million out to make uh, triple compressed cobble with. So <sighs> it's it's just gonna run. It's just gonna run. Uh, let's see. Let me check how long we are in at this point. I think now the really cool thing about that is because I had that set up for trash, all I got out was like the amber bearing stone. Um, I already had that in my inventory when I went down there. I got some stuff from killing stuff because it popped up on me and it shouldn't have done that. Oh, it looks like I did somehow get one stack of stone. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder how I got that. Oh, I know what it was. Uh, because when I got down to the ends, I turned off uh, the AOE mode. <clears throat> You'll see right now we're sitting in, well, yeah, we were sitting in one by one mode. Uh, I don't think that actually uses the, because it's one by one, you're, you're actually clicking the block that you want. I don't think it uses the jump filter when it's in one by one. Let's just find out, because we can certainly, yeah, yeah, see, it came right into my inventory. So I probably got those when I was digging out around to, because at one point I, I somehow went up a block while I was uh, mining down through there, so I actually had to dig down some to get the ender uh, marker set in, and then somehow I got off to one side, going both times. So uh, this thing digs so fast, and I guess I could have shown that, just how fast it digs. I actually have a hole in the world in one place, um, because I, I could run, I was flying. So, I was flying in the air as fast as I could fly and swinging this thing. And it can chop up. It can... Get out of here. Go away. Go away. You too. Go away. Um, so, let me just set it. And we'll just do it. I can actually... Uh, do we need dirt? Uh, you know what? Let's take dirt off. We could use some dirt. We can always use dirt. I turned it off because um, I didn't want... Let's just take that dirt out. And... So, we will now collect dirt as we go. I was flying and, and swinging this. And I can literally mine as fast as I can fly with this bad boy. Yep, yep. So we're now several, and you can see even here, I, I managed to drift to one side. Well, I was doing that going the other direction too, so that's how many blocks we managed to cover in that. Nope, sorry, we still gotta go further up here. Here's where I started dropping dirt almost immediately, basically, because my inventory filled up. Oh, I guess I just couldn't pick it up. I was moving too fast. I guess so. So there we go, guys. Um, I know it's a, a slightly shorter episode than we've been having, but we accomplished a bunch today. So I think we're gonna call it an episode here. <clears throat> I'd really like next time to return to some Thumbcraft stuff. I'd really like to get some nodes over here. Yes, yes. And get our hungry node over here somewhere where we can start feeding it. Yes. So guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I know you could have spent your time doing anything you wanted and you chose to spend your time with me and I appreciate that very much. I look forward to seeing you next time and until then, bye-bye.